hey guys, how are you doing? So this is gonna be a pretty short video about uh, how to get started with Ashes and some of the basics. So once you have downloaded the software, if you open it for the first time, this is the window that you get. So these here are four templates that come by default with Ashes and that can uh, help you get started. So I'm gonna start with the onshore one, for example. And when I click this template, what I see is a nice model of an onshore wind turbine. Before we get into doing anything, I'm gonna briefly mention how you can uh, get help if there's anything you're wondering about. So the first way would be if you press F1, so F1 here, you can see a little um, a little question mark on the right of my mouse here. And when this question mark is on, if you press any elements, it will open the user manual. So for example, if I click rotor, then I just go to the user manual on the, um, on the rotor page with all the information. Okay, so that was for the user manual. If you just press F1 and then press somewhere. The second thing that I want to mention is that we have a forum. So if there's a question that you don't have an answer in the user manual for, you can always come here, help, and go to the Q&A forum. And uh, we have quite a lot of uh, active users that are posting questions and, and answering them. So, you know, don't hesitate to, to use this if you run into, into any issues. Okay, so that's what's for the help. Um, so now a little bit about Ashes. So obviously what you have here, that's your, uh, that's your model in the, in the middle of the, the window. On the left pane here, you have all the parameters that define both the wind turbine and the environmental conditions. So for example, if I want to change the number of blades, I would come here, rotor number of blades and put, for example, I don't know, five, and I'll have a five bladed wind turbine. Once I'm happy with the way my model is defined, I can start the simulation and uh, visualize live what is happening on the turbine. Here, the vectors that you see, those are aerodynamic loads. We will talk about them in other videos. And uh, while the simulation is running, here on the right hand side, you have the output of the simulation. So for example, if I open the rotor sensor, I can see all the things that are happening in the rotor. So I don't know, RPM, power coefficient, etc. Uh, well, of course, these are the default sensors that come, but you can add your sensors if you want. So if I want a sensor on the tower, for example, I could right click here and then add the sensor by clicking this icon here. And now I have one more sensor here. Okay, so that's also something you can do. And of course, if I'm interested in the evolution of this output over time, I can tick this box here and I'll have a graph that shows me how this has been evolving over the simulation. Or I could take the power coefficient or whatever. And uh, yeah, well, that's pretty much it uh, for the basics of Ashes. I hope this was useful. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to use the forum. Thanks a lot for watching and see you around.